All right, I got a box of heat treat, Texas heat treat for my friend Ronald uh, some days ago, probably a week ago now. And these are heat treated nodules, entire nodules. So I'm gonna try them out. Let's see how, see how it goes. Uh, 450 degrees for 20 hours. Let's see. Yeah, 450 degrees for 20 hours. It's a good long time. So, should be good, good long heat treat. All right. It does have a crack in it right there. I can see off the top of my head. This is gravel chert, this particular type. It's pretty common in landscapes. A lot of times it'll heat up well. And that looks pretty good. See if I can knock off some reasonable sized flakes. Mm -hmm. Well, that one broke in half, but... Still, I can still manage to do something with those. Now, I don't know if I should go for the biface or just go for spalls. It's a good chopper. Mm -hmm. mm. Not too big. Let me see. How do I go about this? nice got internal issues though I don't know what those are I don't know if that's heat related it doesn't look like it's heat related I've seen those before those issues I don't know what they're from but I've seen them before yeah I wonder if it'd be advantageous to skin that off Yeah, it's got this stuff in it. That would have otherwise been a nice flake. If it wasn't for the stuff in there. Some of it is usable. So I think I'm going to go for the spalls instead of the biface. Just kind of get spalls off of this. See where the best spots are potentially. So I don't want to get more flakes in that area right now. Let's try this area. Do it early so they can get the longer flakes. As this core gets smaller, the flakes get smaller. The auction went very well. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Yeah, if you have trouble with the auction, there was a couple couple glitches, but if you have trouble with the auction, just send me an email to jackcrafty2 at gmail.com if you're not able to see the comments or whatever. We'll see what we can do. So I can get good arrowhead spalls off of this. Oh, they're called, I can either call them arrowhead spalls or just flakes. Big big flakes, medium sized flakes. I consider these medium sized to a small flakes. Medium size would be more than two inches but less than, less than five. Yeah, that's medium. Large is five or five inches or more, sometimes four inches or more, depending on what mood I'm in. Yep. All right, let's see. Yeah, so it's not it's not bad stuff, and it's kind of cool looking as far as the banding of the colors. 
And it's much better to skin this part off than that part off. Apparently. Yeah. That's nice. Very nice. So it worked. Pretty much. 20 hours of heat treat. Seems to work because I can feel it napping well all the way through to the middle. Yep, yep. And that one, where did that go? Ooh, that just scooped it out. I don't know. That's not that great when it scoops it out, but it's better than nothing. Some chert is better than no chert. No chert, no service, man. <laughs> No choose, no choose, no chirp, no service. That's not what that means. That's not what that means. Some people that are just now tuning in are saying, what's going on? What's with the voices? Yeah, I try to make it interesting for myself, so I add some voices in. Yeah. I've had people enter my comment section and just, the only thing they type in is WTF. <laughs> WTF. That's it. That's all they put in there. Kind of rude, right? That's the only comment you leave. It's a little bit rude. I thought YouTubers weren't like that. I wish. Oh, this is kind of sweet. It's it feels a little bit crackly, but it's it still feels a little a little bit okay. Crackly because I can tell already that it's going to be difficult on the edges to uh, develop strong platforms that can carry these flakes without having them break up into pieces. Yeah, these flakes don't feel flexible, so that's why it feels crackly. It's hard to explain the flexibility. The feeling of flexibility, like the other heat treat felt more flexible than this one. See, this one's not glossy. That gives you one indication that it's kind of hard. Not always, but it's one indication that it's going to be a hard piece. Not in difficulty, just hard material. And when you have hard material, it gets really crackly on the edges. This is also a gravel chert, by the way, found in landscapes and landscape supply yards as bull gravel. But this is a tabular style of gravel chert. Supposedly, these nap better, but this one's not napping as well as the other one. So tabular chert's not always like super duper good. As you might have been told. If you haven't been told that, then just ignore this. Yeah. Just ignore that last comment. And just watch what I'm doing. Yeah. That's a hard hit. I tried to shoot that all the way across. Let's try it again. I missed, though. I should have hit more on this side. That would probably would have driven the flake better let's try again and hit right here let's see if I can drive a flake with a hard hit it did it sweet and that's some interesting material because it naps well but it looks like it's concrete that makes it interesting because 
This is the kind of material that fools collectors and archaeologists because they think it's the same as the raw stuff. Now, if this is still, if this is raw, it's snapping pretty well. But supposedly it's all heat treat. Yeah, it's all heat treat. Now, he, uh, Ron could have uh, snuck in the raw piece just to see how I would nap it. If this is raw, it's pretty good. Yeah, maybe it's a heat treat. I've seen this type before where it's not glossy. It looks just the same as the raw stuff. Almost no difference in the color. There might be slight color difference between this and the raw stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, these pieces remind me of a quartzite. When you nap quartzite, like a Tallahatta quartzite or something similar. Although a Tallahatta gets kind of, it's, it's a mixed bag. Some of it's really easy. Some of it's not. I'm pretty sure it can be heat treated. I just don't remember what else is what other quartzite um, there's another type of quartzite that I was given not too long ago but I already forgot the name of it I was given a bunch of pieces of it that were heat treated a bunch of small to medium sized pieces and it worked out pretty good But that's rare for quartzite. Most of the time it's really grainy. The quartzite is really grainy and you don't get much. And you can't thin it down. You don't get much because it's all cracked. Yeah. This produces nice flat flakes. Look at that. Yep. It's a magic, magic billet. You didn't know I have a magic billet? Now you know. I was watching one of Edbo's videos where he drills a hole in the backside of the of this type of billet and then fills it with lead to make it even heavier. Now I don't know I don't know how I missed that video. He po he posted it two years ago. I missed it. Anyway, I don't like using a heavy mallet because of my wrist. But apparently it works well if it's heavier than this. If you add a little weight to it. For those of you who are not wrist injury impaired. Yeah. I actually messed up both my wrists when I was doing some carpentry work. House building stuff. Especially my right one. I was not using a nail gun. I was doing the nailing just just like that with the hammer. And I hadn't done any carpentry work in a long time. So I was just out of practice, out of shape. That's what happens. You're out of practice in this shape. Perfect. Beautiful. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. What else? What else is beautiful, awesome, awesome, and fantastic and tremendous? Oh, it looks like a amoeba-looking stuff. Sometimes this has concrete in the middle. Ooh, but it's, it's napping nice right now. Yeah, so apparently, if you leave it in the heat treat a long time, I never leave it for 20 hours. That's some hardcore heat treating. But apparently, apparently it works. Now, what is this chert exactly? Exactly? 
the only thing I can tell you is it looks like it's gravel chert, like bull gravel you get at landscape supply yards. And yes, they do call it bull gravel. I'm not making that up. Yeah. Some of you might be thinking, he's just, he's just calling it bull, bull crap gravel. Yeah. No, they call it bull gravel at the landscape supply yards. That's the name of it. Why they call it that? I don't know. Maybe use your imagination. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have to be a, a napper to understand how some stones are not easy to work with. Yeah. I bet you this is a number on the machinery if it, they try to grind it down into gravel. Like for dirt roads and for driveways to little pieces I bet you it, it it's not easy to, to grind this down into little pieces or break it down there it is the overshot that didn't ruin it this kind of overshot doesn't ruin it it makes it more narrow but it didn't get ruined I still got a turtle back though You might think, well, that was cool because you did that on purpose, didn't you? And I would say, no, I didn't. I didn't do that on purpose. I didn't want it to go that far. It didn't need to. It didn't need to. It just needed to pop out. Like around here. It didn't need to take this whole thing off. I lost some width. I don't like that. But I can get something out of this piece. Because I'm not going for large pieces of... Large arrowheads or large projectile points. I'm not going for the large projectile points in many cases. Or large knives. Oh man, that was that would have been so sweet if it had continued. Let's put it back on there and see if I can hit it again. Anyway, I'm getting good spalls for the size of points I like to make, so I'm happy with it. There it is. I put it back on, I struck it again and took off the top. Still kind of turtlebackish. I'm hitting it really hard right now, but this stuff seems to be pretty good. There's no issues, there's no cracks and stuff. That that first piece was pretty stuff, that's why I hit that one first. But like many sweet looking pretty pieces, it turned out to be the worst one. Whereas this kind of generic gray stuff it doesn't look that pretty but it naps well yeah and it's consistent more consistent than the other one more consistent than the pretty stuff and that's what you need if you want to do nice flake patterns you need consistency and you need flexibility to, to, to take flakes off like that you know a small impact area look how small that was and then bang nice flake can I go for a Clovis since I've got two things that supposedly are Clovisy exclusivity Clovis exclusivity the overshot and the thinning flake from the base like that it, there, it's not exclusive to Clovis you'll find out if you uh, look at enough artifacts you'll know that many of them start out this way with overshots and uh, thinning from the base yeah it's an it's an old technique very very old and it carries over to many other point types Yeah. It's just not a lot of other point types don't retain the flutes. But some of them do, like Paternalis points. Or Perdinalis. Perdinalis points retain the fluting. Yeah, they retain that technology. All them purds. Well most of them purds retain that technology. 
I don't even know if I should say most. I've seen a lot of perds or pedanalis points that don't have the little flute in the stem. It's just napped regular. Regular napping. That's it. Or so it would seem. All right, so that was very interesting. What did I get? This was, what was the final piece on the other one? Ah, just an expanded core, right? I think this is the last piece. Something similar to this. Where's the other piece? I don't know. I think this was the last piece. So I got three different cores out of it. It seems like it's consistent all the way through. Yeah, what's my favorite one? This middle one right here. This is my favorite because it's it's got that waxy look to it. And I think I can run a nice flake pattern without getting crunchy anywhere. Although it's crunchy right there. I did make a mistake. I have a feeling this would get more crunchy. Like, like that with step fractures. This one does have step fractures, but I can get those out fairly easy because it's not, it's easy to nap yeah it feels like it's easy to nap too you just get the feel for these after a while all right so that was cool i am going to save some of that i guess i'll cut it there and then i'll make some make another different video uh napping something else i'm going to save these i'm not going to nap them right away what i normally do is I, if I get a box of, of uh, things, like nodules, I'll spall them down and high face them down and then save the good flakes. I don't even know if I'll save this. Save all the good flakes and spalls. And what alls? What, what all y'alls are good? Are all y'all's good? No, not all of y'all's are good. Not all y'all's balls. That's not good. This one might be okay. Nah, I don't know. We'll save it anyway. We'll save this one anyway. Uh, that was right. Some of these are good only for small arrowheads, but guess what? I like them. I never use a lot of them end up selling a lot of them to you guys since you guys like them so much I like that you like them so much I like it because then I don't have to store them and they'll get used up they'll get used they won't go to waste Ooh, that's got a nice color but it's it's cracky all the pudding so yeah if you guys can use this stuff I'd rather you have it than me have it sitting in a box all day, you know, year, like all decade. Yeah, I've had stuff almost for a decade now. Let's see, I've been napping for a decade or a little bit more. I've got stuff that's a decade old. That's that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. All these youngins, they, they say stuff like, Oh, I've had something for half a decade already. Half a decade ain't nothing to me. <laughs> well, half a decade, it's a walk in the park, man. I measure time in decades. Full decades. Not half decades. All right. So most of this other stuff is just clunkers, you know, clunkers. Good for flint and steel, maybe. But most of the, most of the stuff is clunky, clunky junky. Right? I'm not gonna save it. Although I can make something out of it, I'm not gonna save that one. Why save it when? Uh, I can just say, I ran out. You got any more? <laughs> Why'd you run out so fast? Well, you know I'm a fast napper. 
Do I talk like that on the phone? It depends on who I'm, I'm talking to. A lot of times I pick up their accent on the phone. How do you know? How do you think that I come up with so many accents? I've been all over the place. I've lived all over the place. I pick up the accents and then they, I can, I can regurgitate them. Don't ask me how I do it. Don't ask me, okay, man? Don't ask me. Don't you, you don't care. So. So that's what I do. So that's it for this video. I'm going to make another one soon. Ooh, I cut myself today. Yes, I did. Sorry about that. Sorry you had to see that. It just goes with the territory. What else do I have? Do I have anything quick? I've got something. I've got stuff like this that I need to work. On video I just don't want to do it now I'm pretty tired I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep but I got stuff like this this is Georgia Jasper but it's it's quote-unquote problematic is that anything like those other matic gadgets super gadgetmatic no, problematic means it's got issues really bad. Yeah, it's escape from the asylum. That kind of thing. These things should be in the asylum and they're not. I don't even know what this is. So I, got the, I got this from the same guy that I got the Georgia Jasper from. Hold on. Ooh, it's got stuff that's good on the inside. That's a surprise. I thought it was going to be like all limestone. That is neat. That might be neat. So okay, I'll do that on a different video. I got like five of those. One, two, three. Yeah, I got five of those and I'll, I'll do it on a different video. Okay, that's it.